Thomas Weather. The Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody. There is much to talk about on this Tuesday morning. It's the 11th day of August, and uh, the heat advisory continues in effect today. Yesterday, the heat index in Montgomery was 106. Could have been higher in your town. And I think we're going to see 105 or higher. The danger range of the heat index every day through the end of the week. Big heat causes big storms. Did you have a big storm at your house yesterday? There'll be a few of those floating around again today, scattered and random across the area. And uh, the other story, of course, is Fred. Fred is a tropical storm near Puerto Rico this morning. It has um, uh, implications for the southeastern United States and the Gulf of Mexico, and maybe could end up on the northern Gulf Coast. Plus, behind Fred, there is another system that could eventually get the name Grace down the line. Let's talk about Fred first. Actually, Fred, this morning is in between Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic. Moving west-northwest at 16, winds 40 miles per hour. There were tropical storm wind gusts recorded in Puerto Rico overnight. It will be interacting with the island of Hispaniola with its high mountains, and that will weaken Fred. But after that, it should strengthen uh, again, and Fred will begin to turn to the right. The forecast cone now covers all of Florida, the eastern Gulf of Mexico, and now covers the southeastern third of Alabama, with a possible landfall late Sunday night or Monday morning as a strong tropical storm. They've got it at 65 mile an hour winds at landfall, but the intensity forecasts are always pretty shaky. Most of the tropical models on Fred uh, show an encounter with South Florida, then into the eastern Gulf of Mexico, and then somewhere along the northern Gulf Coast, and then curving east of us into Georgia. We want it east of us. The European model, most of the members, most of the European members are east of us. Like there are a few that are over Alabama and Mississippi, and so that's disturbing, but we'll continue to watch the future of Fred. High pressure is still anchored over the northern Gulf Coast, and it looks like another typical very hot day with uh, that ridge of high pressure, that heat ridge, still over us, holding steady for the next few days right on through the end of the week. So the heat advisory continues today with the heat index 105 or higher, and you can see uh, neighboring states also have the heat advisory. There will be some scattered strong storms with uh, this kind of big heat. And, uh, you know, there's a snapshot at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Again, you could see a lot of lightning and some very heavy rain in some of those storms. So we'll call for scattered random PM storms with a high temperature in the middle 90s and a heat index uh, around 105 or higher, low tonight 74. Tomorrow, same thing. I think we're still going to be stuck in the heat with triple-digit heat indices near the danger range Thursday and Friday. More scattered storms. But then we'll be watching, of course, what happens in the Gulf of Mexico. We could have Fred starting to affect Florida perhaps by Saturday. We'll have scattered thunderstorms around here. Just a routine Saturday with temperatures still in the middle 90s. Sunday, this is the GFS showing the uh, you know Fred somewhere to the west of uh, Tampa. And then um, on Monday morning or Monday afternoon, uh, perhaps uh, very close to, uh, you know, Panama City or the Big Bend area. So we'll be watching Fred very carefully. Meanwhile, daily scattered showers and thunderstorms with daily highs in the mid-90s and daily lows in the mid-70s and triple-digit heat indices every day. And then, of course, as we get towards Sunday night and Monday, watching the future of Fred. And uh, that, that one's, that's going to be an interesting thing. Uh, out there uh, in the, uh, at the beach forecast, you know, your rain chances are 40% through Saturday. By Sunday, you, you, people will be getting out of there because of the approach of Fred with high temperatures in the upper 80s and the Gulf water temperature now at a season high of 88. Behind Fred is Invest 95L. That could be the future grace, and it could be a problem in the Gulf of Mexico maybe the following week, you know, next week. This is the uh, night that the Perseid meteor shower peaks tonight and tomorrow night. And uh, just about anywhere in the sky you can see uh, some good uh, meteors in the wee hours of the morning. Get as far away from city lights as you possibly can. Uh, it's the uh, best meteor shower of the year, and hopefully the clouds will cooperate in your town late tonight. And just want to give you a little heads up. Uh, don't be alarmed if something weird happens on your phone between about 1.20 p.m. and 1.50 this afternoon. They're going to be testing the emergency alert system. It's a national test. It'll come up on your phone uh, just like that. And uh, don't, uh, again, that, uh, just wanted to give you a heads up uh, that something weird is going to be happening, but it's just a test. 
All right, so obviously there is much to talk about here and stay on top of the next few days. Our weather app will keep you on top of the action, not just the tropics, but also radar and future radar so you can track those storms today. And any push notifications for severe weather alerts, you'll get instantly uh, because it, the app knows where you are. Even when you go out of town, uh, it will follow you and uh, give you the latest information for wherever you are. So it's free in the App Store. Just search Rich Thomas Weather. Everything's normal today. Live on the radio, 6 to 9, News Talk 93.1. You'll find us on TV. Watch us on CBS 8 and ABC 32. Another video for you. First thing tomorrow morning, the official posting time is 4.45 a.m. And your forecast whenever you want it. Across the dial on eight radio stations, that would be the Blue Water family of stations. Stay weather aware. I'll keep you up to date. I'll see you later.